Hey, this is Malcolm341. In this video, we're gonna look at a free update to the unwrapping toolbox. I've added a new feature which will automatically create UVs for you and help speed up the UV mapping process, so let's check it out. So this is already update three, so I'll jump right into the new feature. If you're not familiar with this tool already, you can take a look at the previous videos to see the full feature set, and I'll put a link for that in the description. Okay, so let's just jump right in here. We've got this uh, kind of mechanical shaped asset here, and uh, I want to generate UVs for this uh, quickly and then uh, polish those UVs a little bit. So first I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click the unwrap button to launch the little toolbox here. I'm going to click this button to turn on the checker map so I can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to just click the planar map to get some UVs on it so we can see what's going on here. And then uh, the checkers are kind of small, so I'm just going to click the minus there so we can get a little bit uh, easier view of what the tool is going to do for us. Okay, so we've got a new button here. It's called UVs from angle. And so what this tool does is it tries to set the normal angle on the model to be whatever value you put into here. And then it cuts all the UVs along that normal angle and then unwraps them into UV shells. And then for cylinders, so they don't kind of unwrap and smear onto themselves, it's gonna try to use a newer feature in Maya, which does auto seams to put like a cut down the side. So all you need to do is make sure that you select your object in object mode and then just run the tool. So click this and boom, there you go. Like one click and we've already got some of our model kind of unwrapped and usable right away. And what's cool about this tool is it uses the normal angle. So that was a normal angle of 30. And I'm just going to turn off the checker map here. And if you deselect the model, you can see, see here are all the hard edges. So that's like what would happen if you applied normal, soften normal at an angle of 30. So it's going to go in and harden those edges based on whatever number you put in here and then cut along them. So just turn this guy back on so we can see what we're doing. So if you change the value here, check this out. This is super cool. So I'm going to put the value to 10, let's say, hit enter, and then run the same tool again. And then you get a different result. And that's because the angle isn't smoothing across these facets. It's breaking these up. Look at this. This is super trippy. You got some crazy weird feathered effect going on there. Obviously, you wouldn't want that, but you can see how the tool works. If we set this to zero, zero being no smoothing angle across anything, and run the tool again, that would take every single face and put it into its own unwrap. So probably 30 is a good place to start, depending on the shape of your model. Let's go back to 30 and kind of get that. And then we can try something else. Like let's say go to 60, hit enter, click the button again. And you can see now because it's smoothing across more stuff, it's actually stitching more stuff across. So you can kind of like set this number to whatever you want. I don't know, let's try 100 and see what happens and uh, get a bunch of different results. That's not going to be all that helpful, but you get the idea of how the tool works. So let's go back to 30 because that's usually a good starting spot. So what's cool about this is in one click, you can get a nice UV layout to start with. And then from there, we can kind of go in and just go enter the 3D cut and sew tool. And then we can start to modify this right here. So let's say, oh, I don't know. I don't like that seam. I'm going to hold control, click it, click unwrap. And then now we've got a donut there and I don't know, maybe here as well. Let's try that. Unwrap. Got a donut. But uh, maybe I didn't like that. So we can just go back in, select this guy, press X to cut it and click unwrap again. And then we've got a nice straight layout there as well. And I'm not liking how that's got like a random cut there or whatever. I think it's this one here. So hold control, click to sew it back together. That's all wonky. Click unwrap. And then boom, that guy's sorted out. And then we've got to find wherever this gray one is as well. So I think that's probably, usually find it by the color. I think it's probably this guy here. Nope. So it's fine. If you make a mistake there, it's no problem. Like you can just press X to recut it and then just relay it out. And it's going to fix that guy up for you anyways. Must be this one down here. It's probably this guy here. So, oh yeah, we can just highlight over it to see where it is. So hold control, click. And then click unwrap. And then I don't like how that's going to turn out. So hold control and double click and unwrap. And cool, looking pretty good. So just a really quick way to auto generate UVs to get started. Uh, that probably a quite a bit better than using like an automatic map or something like that. Plus, it's right in the tool. So, you know, you click it and then you just go to work with the 3D cut and sew tool. One thing that you need to watch out for, though, is that the normals are set during the creation of this. So if you've already set all the normals on your model and you run this tool, 
just going to grab all these guys and go set to soften. So you've got all soft normals or whatever normals you would apply yourself and you run the tool, it's going to harden the normals based on this number. So you really want to use this when you're first starting off. You don't want to use this at the end of your UVing process because typically what you want to do is do the layout for your UVs first and then do the normals later because for normal mapping, you're going to have to cut wherever you've got a hard edge. So it's kind of easier to do the UV layout first and then worry about the normals later. And if you do the normals first, then you might have to end up changing decisions based on what you had there anyways, based on to get the normal map to come out clean. So here, watch what happens when I click this. So we saw this is all soft. Here, I'm just gonna hide the edges so we can see it happen. I'm gonna click the button. It's gonna generate the UVs and see it's also gonna set the normals at the same time. Thanks to Sean for sending in this feature request. This is a pretty cool idea, actually. I think uh, it can be really useful in certain situations. So I uh, hope you guys uh, check it out and find it useful. If you've already purchased the full script pack, the UV pack, or the single script, this will be a free update. So you just need to download the same file again to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script yet, you can grab the script by itself in the full script pack or the UV mapping pack. So take your pick. Thanks for watching everybody. Without viewers like you, this channel would not be possible. If you like this video, please purchase something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad free. See you next time. Have a radical day.